Most people have a range of attractiveness for other people. This attractive range usually goes from 1 to 10. I'm going to break it down for you in Tyler terms. Okay, so I know that some people will accuse me of being shallow. There is beauty on the outside. I know everybody says that all beauty is on the inside, but that isn't true. <laughs> There is beauty on the outside, and this is true because if it weren't true, then people like Kim Kardashian would not be popular. Because when you first meet somebody, your judgment on them will be based on their looks, because you don't know anything about them, so what do you have to judge them on? Their appearance. Ones are usually the strangest looking people. Most of the time they resemble the grandma witch from Snow White. They usually excrete some very funky smells. And people on the opposite side of the spectrum, tens, are unreal. These people you just have to look at because you just wonder what kind of blessing they got right before they came out of the womb. These are the kind of people that you want to find their parents and be like, how? Just ask them, how? How is, how did you do that? Was there some technique while you gave birth? What did you eat while you were building this beauty inside of you? These people just blow your mind because of how attractive they are. It's just, it's weird, you know? Like, they're almost too attractive. You don't even want to talk to them or even try to be with them because of how attractive they are. And you know, life must probably suck for those kind of people because, I mean, everybody's probably jealous of them. But at the same time, like, they probably get judged you know, bad because people are like, oh, you're so lucky. You have to take advantage of your looks. Well, not every 10 is a model. Jerk. And then it just goes down and up from there, like sevens, eights, fours, threes, twos, sixes, sow, nines. Nines are nice. And there are certain things that can bump you up and down the scale. If you look beautiful but you smell like trash, it might bring you down to a four when you would have been an eight. And remember that this is personality aside. I know personality, for me anyway, can bring someone from a four all the way up to a ten. Do you think that I'm attractive? Thank God that this camera can't answer me, because if it could, it probably wouldn't. And if all of you guys could answer me, just don't. Because I would rather not know your opinion. Not that I don't value your opinion. It's just I am way too insecure with myself. And like almost all Americans, I have become a victim to media and our culture and society. And what is attractive and what isn't. And like most people, I would rather not be harassed by a bunch of people on YouTube about how ugly I am. But this isn't really about how ugly I am. It's not about how attractive I am either. This is about how neutral I am. I am a perfect five. There's nothing that stands out about me that is disgusting or just repulsive, but there's nothing really that great either. I'm that person that you walk past on the side of the street going to work and you would never notice me. I'm the type of person that has to make up for my neutralness by acting goony and strange. I need to give myself other qualities because my looks are definitely not doing anything at all. I can't stoop down to the lower levels and start dating ugly girls because they don't notice me either. I'm the type of person that goes up to a cash register and the people just kind of ignore me. They just kind of do their job and send me on my way. The only way that I could possibly stand out is if I slapped the cashier and I got a big black eye and puffy face and just look like crap until I woke up the next day in an emergency room because I got my ass handed to me by the security guards. And then, you know, the perfect five would seem a little bit better than <clears throat> being dropped down to a one. I kind of have to compensate for the fact that I'm invisible by trying to be funny, being humorous, by getting myself out there, by doing things that people would normally do. I have to do things like, Bruh! I have to do things that make me look incredibly strange. I'm kind of like an apple core. You know, you eat the apple, but when you get down to the core, you want some more, right? Because you're not full yet, but you don't really want to eat the core because of the seeds and the, the weird texture and the crunchiness. You don't want that, but you know, if you did, it wouldn't taste that bad but you just throw it out anyway. Yep, I'm the core. I'm like the lettuce on a hamburger. You know, if it wasn't there, you'd know something was missing, but you wouldn't know what. I'm the type of person that when I see someone at Walmart, I wave to them and they never notice me. And I'll send them a message on Facebook saying, oh, I saw you at Walmart, what have you been up to? And they'll say, oh, you were at Walmart, I didn't see you there. When really I walked right past them, yelled their name, did this, did this. I might have even blown them some kisses. 
Basically, the perfect five is invisible. Nothing too ugly, nothing too attractive, just the normal person. Someone that goes about their daily lives and isn't noticed by anybody. Someone that just kind of blends in with everything else. The only way that I could stand out is if I had a flamethrower and I was blasting flames around. <laughs> Sometimes I do that with my words. <laughs> I'm kind of a short guy too, I'm 5'7", but I'm not too short, I'm just in the middle. I always knew that there was a reason that my parents were going to name me Casper, but then I realized that the name Casper was a little bit out of the ordinary and they wanted me to be just as five as I could be, so Tyler would work instead. I'm feeling so five today. The next time that you feel very just normal, just invisible, say I feel five. I am so five all the time. Oh, I'm the biggest five you'll ever meet and the smallest. Hey, so before you leave, give me a middle five because a high five and a low five don't make any sense. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to do something! Something entertaining!